I'm the detective. Ah, man, you're finally here. Okay, summary? The vast of disgrace, sculpted by Antonius III, was stolen from this room at 10.15 a.m. Multiple eyewitnesses have spotted a lone man with a gun, similarly sighted briefly by the surveillance camera in this room. You mean that surveillance yep. camera? That surveillance camera. The suspect fired off two shots in the direction of the surveillance camera. The first shot hit the wall, and the second shot broke the camera. Do we have any suspects? As a matter of fact, we do. Based on the evidence collected, we have shortlisted these three suspects. Firstly, suspect A. His fingerprint was found on the chair right here. Secondly, suspect B. His blood smear was found on the table. And finally, a strand of hair belonging to suspect C was found in this very room. Eh? Then what about this suspicious white corner on the floor? Ma'am, that's the donut you dropped. <laughs> suspect C is the most probable suspect. How on earth did you figure that out? Well, you see, young one, trigonometry is the answer! We first measure the distance of the bullet hole above the ground. Ah! In this case, it is 234 centimeters above the floor. We then need to find the angle at which the bullet hit the wall, or what we call the impact angle. Depending on the impact angle, the shape of the bullet hole varies from a circle to an ellipse of different sizes. A bullet at an impact angle of 90 degrees would make a nice round circle, whereas any angle less than 90 degrees would form an ellipse. To find the impact angle, we must first measure the minor and major axis of the ellipse. As you can see, there is a right-angled triangle formed with the wall. In this right-angled triangle, this is the hypotenuse and this is the opposite side. According to trigonometry concepts, we can then find the impact angle using the sine ratio. The major axis of this bullet hole is 29 millimeters and its minor axis is 23 millimeters. That means that the impact angle of the bullet is approximately 52.5 degrees. According to the surveillance camera, the suspect was about 111 centimeters away from the bullet hole. By utilizing this distance, we can estimate the height of the suspect. The length of the adjacent is calculated using the tangent ratio. We would have to subtract the length of the adjacent from the height of the bullet hole. And then at 25 centimeters, the suspect would thus be about 174 centimeters tall. Since suspect C's height is the closest to our calculations, I conclude that suspect C is our most likely culprit. Let's find him, question him, and retrieve the treasure at once. Enjoyed learning about mathematics and forensic science? You can also learn more about DNA evidence and forensic science through our workshops. Got to go! Bye!